today's menu, a delicious spicy ramen that's perfect for the chilly weather. Vegan Chili Ramen Lei Hong Ma, I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. This ramen recipe is incredible. You definitely have to make this. Bring a pot of water to boil for the noodles. Two pieces of garlic, finely chopped. About a teaspoon worth of finely chopped ginger. About a quarter cup diced onion. Two large cremini mushrooms, finely sliced. About half a cup of cubed tofu. Saute pan. Medium heat. Drizzle of toasted sesame oil. Saute half a bok choy for a few minutes. Set aside. Saute the onions, garlic, and ginger for about a minute. Saute the mushrooms for another minute. Deglaze the pan with about a half a cup of sake. One tablespoon gochugaru or Korean red pepper powder. Now this is basically the backbone of that incredible flavor in that broth and you'll be able to find these at most Asian supermarkets. This is a dobanjan or also called a Sichuan style broad bean sauce and really is just incredibly flavored, quite pungent and it's basically a fermented broad bean paste. One generous tablespoon dobanjan. Saute for about a minute. Two cups unsalted veggie stock. One small piece or five grams kombu. Stir. Add in the tofu and let it cook on medium for about 10 minutes. So there may be some harder to find ingredients like kombu, which is considered the king of all seaweed because it's really, really thick and absolutely amazing. It really gives off a, a nice kind of umami saltiness in the broth. If you can't find this, there is another type of seaweed called wakame. That's mainly used for seaweed salad, but still has that sort of chewy, thick texture. It does give off a lot of flavor of used in broth. So if you can find kombu, definitely take a look and see if you can find wakame seaweed. Cook the ramen noodles to package instructions. ramen bowl and this is of course that amazing chili oil that you can make at home and it's super easy super smoky really delicious it's not crazy spicy and i'll leave a link in the description box below to show you exactly step by step how to make this incredible chili oil right at home one tablespoon chili oil one teaspoon black rice vinegar or regular rice vinegar one and a half tablespoon soy sauce Remember to stir your noodles occasionally to keep them from sticking. 
drain out the noodles and set aside. When the soup is ready, remove the kombu and save it for another recipe. Pour the soup into the ramen bowl. Noodles. Tofu. Bok choy. Green onion. Tablespoon of crushed roasted peanuts. Dried chili threads. Sprinkle with white sesame seeds. Finish with a tablespoon of chili oil. You can now make this bowl of delicious ramen with absolute confidence. I mean, there is a reason why ramen is such a household favorite. Look at that. That is so delicious. There's so much flavor. I mean, it's salty, it's spicy, it's sweet. A little bit of a tanginess from the, the rice vinegar. You have amazing texture from the tofu cubes and the mushrooms. Just incredible. The crunchiness from the peanuts. And a little bit of the al dente bites from the bok choy. The freshness from the green onions. There's just so much happening in this bowl. It is what I call a party I'd like to attend. That is just wonderful. And by the way, if you haven't already checked out or like to get your copy of the Vegan Ramen Cookbook that I published not too long ago, you can check that out in the link in the description box below. It is packed with ramen recipes as well as drinks and side dishes. And in that same link, you can also check out and watch the first entire class of the new plant-based sushi making masterclass. And that masterclass is a series of five classes designed and curated to help you make incredibly stunning and delicious sushi right at home. And of course, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.